setting up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second there. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. On second and nine, Mayfield. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And he has another first down as of the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. And the Browns are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. He knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll give it to Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run for Nick Chubb. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. And this is what you wanted to see from a defense. Get at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They're going to try and throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. B.J. Goodson. And that will force a turnover on down. First down, Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. And here he'll get it down to the 7. They'll run with Chubb. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Nick Chubb with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Browns have taken the lead. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helps score as the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked off inside the five, and a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the eight yard line. Separation that you just First talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try to hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. You go. <laughs> Mayfield from the gun on third down. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Touchdown. 59 yards, and the Browns add six to their lead. It's good, and it is. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. On third down, they turn to Sanders, and the yards short of the first. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And this Browns defense stands tall. The Browns drive about to get started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now.